G'day, I'm Gary Pye. Blinking is an important part of character animation. Blinking is something we do all day, every day, but in animation, it's something that can really help to create a believable performance from your character if used in the right way. Now, there's two different types of blinking that you can use in Cartoon Animator. For years and years and years, I used the sprite swapping method, which is absolutely fine, works perfectly. And basically all you do is you go from an open eye to a closed eye, back to an open eye, and that's your blink. Works great. However, with Cartoon Animator 5's ability to now work with vector scaled characters, you can have your actors a lot closer to the screen and retain perfect clarity with them, no pixelation or blurriness. But that also means that sprite swapping can sometimes be a little bit harsh and not quite as believable on your characters. So a great alternative is using face, face detail settings to make a smooth transition between the sprites for the blink. I'm gonna show you how to do that today and then you guys can decide which blink works better for you in the projects you're working on and you can use it. So let's go across to Cartoon Animator now and I'll show you how it works. So on screen we have two different versions of my character Anita. The one on the left we're going to give sprite swapping eyes, the one on the right we're going to give the smooth transition eyes using face detail settings. So let's do the one on the left first, the sprite blink. With Anita's timeline open select the face tab down the bottom because that's what we're working with and go to face motion, open it up and select both of her eyes so that they will appear on the timeline tracks. Now all of the timeline tracks for the eyes are open but we only need to work with the sprite timeline so you can close the other ones off so you don't get confused. Close off the transform track, the deform track, the opacity track. All we need are the two sprite tracks because that's what we're going to be working on. Jump forward to about frame 40 for this demo so that we've got a little bit of lead-in time when we watch the blink. Now open up your sprite key editor, open up your sprite editor, select the face, select the eye, and this will bring up all the different selections we have of the eyes. Because we're blinking, we just want to go straight to eye closed. So for both eyes, click eye closed, you'll see the keyframe come up on screen for the eyes. So now, open, closed, nice and easy. For the duration of the blink, I use about four frames for normal speech. If a character is just behaving normally, four frames is usually plenty. If they're talking very slow, maybe six frames, and if they're talking really fast, maybe three frames. But as a general rule of thumb, I find four is perfect. So let's skip forward four frames. One, two, three, four. At this point, we want Anita to open her eyes again. So nice and easy. Just select the eye open sprites and you can see that we go from closed, hold the close and then open. So when we play that animation, Anita blinks her eyes. Works fine. In probably 95% of the cases, that blink is going to be great. It's going to be perfect. But sometimes you might want something just a little bit smoother, a little bit more advanced. So let's skip across to frame 100 Let's close off our first Anita because we're not working with her now. And let's open our other Anita. Again, open the face, I'll get rid of this for a second. Open the face track again, but this time open the facial clip. That opens three tracks for animation. You've got the head track. That's responsible for the rotation of the head. When you rotate the head, it will drop a keyframe onto this track. Then you've got the face track. With the face track, what, that's, what that means is it operates everything within the face, including eyebrows, nose movement, mouth movement, eye shape movement. So that's transforming or deforming any of those things. The third track is the eye track, and that is responsible solely for the pupil, for the, for the iris of the eye. And when Anita looks around the room, that's what you're controlling on that track. So for this purpose, we're only worrying about the blink. So we are going to work on the face track. At frame 100, 
double click or hit the V key and you're going to put a keyframe at that point telling Cartoon Animator that that is the point that we're going to start our blink. Move forward about two frames and in your face key editor open the template uh, the template tab, open your detail settings and up the top here you have settings for your brow, your eyes, your nose and your mouth that you can control all the different parts of the body transforming and deforming them. For now all we're going to worry about are the eyes. We want instead of just going straight to the blink we want Anita's eyes to gently close this time. So with the eye squint slider slide that all the way to the end and you'll now see that between these keyframes Anita will start to close her eyes. It's a lot smoother than just doing the blink. On the keyframe after it now we want to swap our sprite. So if we go back and we select our eye closed sprite there's the sprite keyframe that you can see up here. We've still got our face timeline open as well. Now if we go back to the face timeline, move forward say another two frames. One, two. Where were we there? One, two. There we go. Open your detail settings. Now we want to open her eye back up. Okay. So we want the eye to be not completely open because that will be the next frame, it will be completely open, but we'll have it partially open. So now it's going to go down to the blink and then it's going to start to open up again. And already you can see that is, is so much smoother. So now on the final frame, we go back to our sprite editor and open the eye. Go back up here, it says your keyframe for the eyes, that's eye closed, eye open. When we come back up here, on the face timeline, we're squashing the eye down to that point, holding it down and then coming back open again. So the final blink, here's your comparison between a sprite blink and the face detail setting blink. This is what it looks like. Blink and blink. Now to me, that second blink up close is, is just so much smoother. I think, I think that looks fantastic. Um, it's entirely up to you which one you use. You've got the information there. If you own the character of Anita, if you've purchased Anita from me, if you go to my Facebook page and send me a private message and send me a copy of your proof of purchase token that comes with the character, then I'll send you the project file that we've used in this video so you can see exactly where the keyframes are you can work along with it and have a look and learn it so i hope this video has been helpful to you there's going to be plenty more coming thanks for watching have a great day bye bye